Is this valuable? No, it's just coral. Oh. Sadly, coral doesn't have the same value as gemstones such as diamonds and emeralds. However, it is equally as precious, if not more so. Made up of a, a symphony of life, with a polyp and its skeleton creating the basic structure for our reef. Only 1% of our ocean floors are covered with coral. 99% of Bonaire's shoreline is indeed covered with coral. Whether we're taking enough action to protect that is very questionable, and it's very endangered by lots of different factors. Globally, coral is endangered by many things, natural phenomenon and human kind, and its inability to interact with what is so precious. Sun bleaching, pollution, excavation are all common factors that see our reef depleting. We really don't want to see that happen here in Bonaire. Does Bonaire value its coral? I think we do. We have enough organisations and foundations to assure the value of our coral. However, the slow cancer of tourism is making its mark. How long is that going to be sustainable is a big question that perhaps we can't answer until it's too late. Divers, always on the increase, and now perhaps not even told not to touch the coral, can do such damage in one dive that a thousand years won't put it right again. Bonaire needs to take serious count of where we stand today with our natural resources, especially the coral. If our shoreline was truly dressed in precious gemstones, diamonds, emeralds and rubies, there'd be a battery of battleships out there off the shore and as many policemen as we could throw at any one beach. Perhaps then we'd really understand the value of our coral and the value of our future. Perhaps we wouldn't sell it for $25 to divers that have no idea of the damage they do when they break their little piece off to take it home, stroke the little fish, or just generally disturb the environment to say they've been there. It's tragic that a diver feels he has to leave his mark. The only thing that Bonaire has as a natural resource, apart from salt, is its coral. It's not just a value for the people of the island, it's a value for all the fish and the creatures that live around it. Many species, many varieties that are already disappearing live off our coastline. If we lose that coral, we lose our future. And there's no doubt about that. If we lose our diving industry, then we lose a great part of our economy. Surely, if it was gemstones that we had down there, we'd protect them then why on earth can't we protect our reef? In a recent interview with the governor of Bonaire, he explained that tourism hit us like a tsunami. We really didn't know what was coming or what to expect. Stinapa do its utmost to protect our shoreline and our natural environment. However, it's questionable if they can really do their best, while the director of the TCB, that's our tourism corporation, actually holds a seat on the same board of Stinapa who are trying to protect our environment. Don't we need to make some adjustments there? Should we not really be looking at a conflict of interest? It would seem to me that if it was my job to sell tourism to the island, and at the same time to protect it, sooner or later the balance goes out. The funny thing about all this protection is we don't need a license from the government to protect our coral. We don't need permits to protect it. We don't need zero tolerance policies or thousands of policemen. We need to be aware of our environment and where we are. If you dive, you need to be able to know not to touch things. We need to be able to accept the fact that we have a very precious environment. And nobody should tell us how to do that. We should be telling each other that we must do that to save our future for our youth. What's the solution? The solution isn't new bylaws. The solution isn't regulation. The solution is education. Educate yourself, educate your friends. Dive on the coral, enjoy it. Watch the beauty and the colour. Don't touch it, don't break it, don't take it home with you. So what's the value of coral? Far greater than any gemstone, far greater than any diamond. It's precious. It's his future.